There is no such thing as a perfect relationship or marriage. But with compromising, communicating, being sensitive to the other person's feelings, finding a balance, people have been able to have long-lasting relationships. However, there is no room for domestic violence or cheating in a relationship. So if you're in an unhealthy or toxic relationship, run. Flee. Run as fast as you can because your emotional, mental, and physical well-being is very important. Do it for yourself. I don't pity those in an unhealthy relationship. Do you know why? Because they don't pity themselves. Because if you pity yourself and you love yourself, you won't subject yourself to such condition. I know some of you are shaking your head and, and trying to tell me that um, I don't understand, that there could be reasons. Okay, let's see. Can somebody, anybody, justify domestic violence in a relationship? No, comment below. I want to know what you guys think. Can you justify cheating in a relationship? Comment below. Yeah, I hear people saying, um, you don't know what may have happened. You don't know what she did. They warranted that. Nonsense. Bull crap. I don't care. Domestic violence and cheating has no place. Absolutely zero place in a relationship. Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Oswald. On this channel, I share unspoken advice on dating and relationship. I want to empower men and women to find the right person of their dreams and not settle for less. You deserve love. You deserve to find the right one and you're going to do it. Do well to check out my other videos. I have a video on the dating trends in 2022. I'll leave a link in the description. I have a video on shocking reasons why you've been unsuccessful at dating. Do well to find the link in the description box. I want you to look yourself in the mirror. How did you go from being cheerful, jovial, happy, to being completely miserable? You cry yourself to sleep and you wake up crying. How did you go from being the top 1% in your class, being the center of attraction, being the boss in your office, to a punching bag? Why do you subject yourself to such? Today, I'm going to give you five reasons why you are still in a toxic relationship. Sadly, a lot of people are guilty of the third, fourth, and fifth one. So stay tuned. The first one, you've allowed the world to successfully convince you that all men are the same. That all men cheat. Why? How? Let me tell you something today. Not all men cheat. Not all men are domestic abusers. So go out there and find the right one for you. You deserve love. You deserve to be loved properly. You deserve to be loved the right way. Don't waste your time. The second one is, maybe it took you like five, six, seven, or 10 years to be in a relationship or to get married. And then you convince yourself that no matter what happens, you're not leaving this relationship. Even if he uses you as a punching bag, or even if he's cheating, you won't leave the relationship. Why? You've decided that you would rather die under the vein than leave the relationship. You've decided that you'd rather die under the sun than leave that unhealthy relationship. Why? There is a saying, when one door closes, another opens. But you've decided not to close that door. You've decided not to close that page and start a new one. Hey, you. Yes, you. You need to close that door today. Do it for yourself. Do it for your peace of mind. You deserve it. Like I said earlier on, the third, fourth, and fifth reasons have turned out to be the most reasons why people are still in an unhealthy relationship. Now let's continue. The th Three, parents. Parents have turned out to be one of the top reasons why people are still in an unhealthy relationship. In our bid to make our parents happy and smile, we subject ourselves to abject misery. It's okay to be selfish. It's okay to put yourself first. Your happiness is very important. I want you to have that conversation with your parents. Let them know that you are not happy in this relationship. You're so miserable. That is very unhealthy for you. It's very toxic. Sadly, some parents encourage you to endure, have patience, pray. Let me tell you today. Heaven help those who help themselves. 
they remind your parents remind you of the marital vow for better for worse for better for worse doesn't mean you should lose your happiness it doesn't mean you should throw your life away it doesn't mean you should be miserable it doesn't mean you should be a punching bag do what is best for you the fourth reason is material things he hates you cheats on you then comes back to apologize with a new car or the latest designer bag and shoe or a trip to any location of your choice you've decided to be suffering and smiling what makes you think you can't have both what makes you think there's no man out there who will treat you right who will respect you treat you right and still get you all this stuff so don't settle for less. the fifth reason which is the top reason why a lot of people are still in a toxic relationship is because of kids. If you're in an unhealthy, toxic relationship because of your kids, you are not doing yourself any good. Neither are you doing the kids. Kids require a very healthy environment. You want them to see the frequent back and forth between you and your partner. You want them to see how he lays his hands on you. You want them to see your all-day moody face, your miserable self. It's difficult because they are still kids and they may not understand. But I promise you, when they grow up, they will appreciate it. They will appreciate that you decided to get out of that unhealthy relationship. You decided to do what was best for you and the kids. I leave you with this. This life is short and just once. You owe it to yourself to live it to the fullest. You owe it to yourself to live happily. If you find this video helpful, do us to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment. Click on this link here to take you to my other videos and do want to subscribe to my channel.